What's up ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Fist Grow. It is a tweak that allows you to scroll using only your accelerometer, just like this. So I'm gonna show you how this works right now. Let's open up Safari. A double tap of our status bar will enable it. You can see it's enabled. And now let's use our accelerometer to scroll, just like that. Scrolling uh, down the page and then up the page by tilting the iPhone just like this. It works in landscape mode, though not as good, but it does work. Um, but in portrait mode, it works really well. Also, you can use the volume buttons to scroll if you like to do that as well. But obviously, that's more of a secondary function. The accelerometer scrolling is what really makes this tweak cool. So let's check out some of our settings here. As you'll see, quite a few settings. You have scroll mode, and that enables you to enable the accelerometer. The volume buttons are both. You have the volume, scroll size, how much it scrolls with the press of the volume keys, the accelerometer, scroll acceleration, and then scroll selection, which is more handy for the iPad, actually, because you know you have multiple scrolling panes on the iPad. You can actually choose which pane you want to use to scroll. But I'll go ahead and enable that now just to show you how this works. As you can see, it's not enabled. It doesn't enable until I use the activator action. There it goes. Now it's asking me to select a scroll where I want to actually scroll. See, the scroll doesn't work yet until I select it. And there we go. I selected the scrolling window. And like I said, this works mainly for the iPad. It's mainly geared toward the iPad because there's usually only one scrolling window with the iPhone. So there you go. There's how it works again. And again, you can use the volume buttons to scroll down or up as well. Now, one thing I like about Fizz Scroll is that it's smart. It'll automatically disable itself once you start scrolling normally, just like this. So if I want to use my finger to scroll, it'll disable itself, just like I showed you. Now, one last thing it'll do is it'll automatically disable itself when you exit an app as well. So here I am in Safari, I exit Safari, and it's disabled. Now, don't forget that you need to add an activator action to enable Fizz Scroll. So let's go ahead and show you the activator action here. I've went ahead and set up a double tap on the status bar, and there you can see it's currently assigned to Fizzcrow, and that's how you activate it, a double tap on the status bar. So this is Fizzcrow. It is a jailbreak tweak available on Cydia's Big Boss repo. It will set you back $1.99, but it's really cool. It works with iOS 4, iOS 5. It adds accelerometer or the volume button functionality, and it works really well with the iPad because it has that scroll selection that allows you to select the exact pane you want to use to use Fizzcrow with. I'm interested. Would you pay $1.99 for this type of functionality? Well, let me know in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.